Hi. So I downloaded a thing for SketchUp. It's called the VR Sketch for the Quest. So you download this little server app and a little app for your Quest. And essentially, you'll get this <laughs> this uh, character into VR, which will show you this space, which is our building space. So as you can see, it creates like this avatar inside SketchUp, which gives you this virtual space where you can actually build. And I'm in the middle of the tutorial, <laughs> and uh, let me just check if my lever's all okay. So you end up inside this space, where you have all the, all the tools available from select, erase, line tools, rectangle, push-pull, move copy, tape measure, uh, buckets, open your cloud model, you can undo, after several undo steps here, oh, I think it's 10. Uh, you can teleport, which is disabled for now because we're in the tutorial, settings, and you can make notes. And just press this button and we can do a rectangle. And you can do the rectangle uh, to the different axes here. You see they have blue axes. And if I move it like this, I have a red axis. So just a little flick of the wrist to actually move it in the three different angles. Sometimes you just have to flip it a bit and it goes up to the right at one, which is very cool. And it's the same as, uh, as in SketchUp. You click to start and click to finish, or you can also click and drag and let go. Don't do that, by the way. That's the wrong way to use SketchUp. Um, but um, you can also go here and we can go push-pull. We can pull out different parts here and you can see that everything <laughs> I'm drawing is also coming up live in SketchUp and we can draw some lines like that we can push pull to different axes and if you want to be more precise you can press the menu here and set length. And you can set the exact length you want in meters or millimeters. So that's a 10 millimeter. And then you can do the rest. But what's, re what's really nice is that it actually snaps to the nearest uh, centimeter. So it is actually really easy to just draw. Like the inference points, they really work well here in VR. It's actually quite impressive. Okay, I'm in the middle of the tutorial. I'm on the, the third the third step here. And already I'm starting to get get it. Uh, it's, uh, it's really simple if you know SketchUp. So let's continue. Use your thumbs to choose a rectangle tool. Okay, rectangle. Use the rectangle to draw a rectangle. Okay, we'll do that. There we go. Use the push-pull tool to exclude the rectangle. Yep, there we go. You see how easy it is? Reach out and touch the geometry you wish to select. So, it's if I triple click, I get every, uh, everything. So it's the same feature as you got in Sketch, really. I also like that the the texture here is like simplified, so you can actually see it better and doesn't have like the screen door effects that you would have if you would actually do the little dots there. It's really nice. When not touching any geometry, pull and hold the trigger. Okay. Move the controller to draw a box. Oh, so if I want to, you actually get a three-dimensional select tool. That's pretty cool. Draw one or more rectangles. Use the tool buttons to choose the undo tool. Uh, use the tool buttons to choose the redo tool. Okay. So we're going to draw some rectangles here, floating in this space like that. This is actually really cool if you want to make some leaves or something, you know? <laughs> Look at that. That was so simple to do in VR, and this would take me like ages to do using just inference points and a mouse. Okay, so we're going to undo. Do I have to? Yeah, I have to release it each time. Or can I just press it? No, I can't. But I can go down several steps here, and it will go to the step I choose. And it also tells me a little text there, which tells me how f uh, far back I did. And then I can redo the same things. Click on the corner of the cube to start moving it. Okay? Yeah, because now I have the move tool.
click again to finish the move. Yeah, cool. And I guess in here I, also, I can also use the inferences. Yes, you can. Awesome. And it's so easy to see in three dimensions when you're working in VR. Click on the corner and click the submarine and press the move button and choose the number of copies. Yes. Oh, wait. Move it here. Copy. This is the same you would do in SketchUp if you would to do the, the array effects. So let's do 50 copies. Oh my god, that's awesome! Let's go three copies. So if you don't, don't let go of the trigger, which I guess is, well, I'm doing exactly the same thing I'm trying to tell my students not to do. Click once, start moving, then do the menu, do the number of copies you want, and then you select where you want <laughs> those copies to be. Oh my god, I absolutely love this. This is beautiful. Okay, use the grip button to move the model. The grip button? And that just moves my entire play space, I guess. You can also make the model smaller, moving your hands apart and down. Yeah, so that takes it to scale, and then you can actually see the scale there, which is nice. But, so that's 1 to 20, 1 to 50, 1 to 10. Let's go up to 1 to 1. 1 to 1. <laughs> now we're talking. Here's my house. Finally, use teleport to move around in large models. I'm going to teleport down here, and it's one-to-one. -one. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Thank you. This is exactly what we've been looking for in a sketch of VR. This is... You put Trimble to shame with their VR setup. Absolutely to shame. Okay. Go back to warehouse. Okay, let's try this uh, with um, a different model this time. So I'm gonna go into one of my scenographies. And this is a bigger model. Like this is this is the one we usually draw, you know, with all the details and seedings and everything. And it's usually when you try to open this in SketchUp, you get the, oh my God, this is a big file. You sure you wanna do this uh, warning? Let's see how this app handles this. I'm pretty sure it's going to be hard, but we'll try. VR sketch, send VR on my Oculus Quest. Cool. Now it takes a lot longer to load, which I was half expecting. Processing geometry. Come on. Oh, <laughs> it's right here, I didn't see it. Oh, oh. Okay, I have some lag, but it's not that bad, really. Actually, it's uh, quite impressive. Okay, there are some geometry missing, missing here. There's actually quite a lot of geometry missing. This is like testing it to its absolute fullest. Oh, it's still loading. So this is still loading, you see? And while it's loading, the lag is considerable. I don't know if you can see it in, uh, in the capture there. Maybe. I'm also gonna take away this so you don't have to see, uh, see that. And uh, why is, oh shit. Did you see that? Did you see that? I just, yeah, I can place my, right, let's get on the stage here. Yeah. You can actually teleport just clicking in SketchUp. So it's, it's still loading. There's a lot of textures in this and there's a lot of geometry. <laughs> if, just, if I just look away from the seats, it's actually running really well. And then I look at the seats and everything starts, oh, jagging. There's a lot of components here. And I'm guessing it's not that good at uh, duplicating geometry as SketchUp is. It's done. So I'm, I'm now moving around with the joysticks. 
which actually works really well. There's uh, certain elements hidden, tags hidden in my scene that are here in in the model. So it's it's got some bugs. It's got both the pipes and it's got this forward which I've actually hidden in this scene because I'm not using it right now. I'm actually going to delete uh, these guys. So there we go. Now it looks more right. Oh, shoot. <laughs> uh, uh, moving out here. So you see some of the textures. Oh, well, actually they are loading, but it's loading all the geometry, also the, the broken geometry that I've actually hidden in the background, uh, which is from the original uh, AutoCAD uh, drawing that I didn't want to delete in case there was information somebody needed. So this is um, actually a very bad example. You know what, guys? Let's try another one. And here we are. And let's, let's go down to full scale. Let's see what this actually looks like in uh, one to one. I'm gonna put it on my floor like this. So <laughs> let me just stand up. And uh, this feels very high, which is actually kind of cool because that <laughs> has been my gripe with the designer too, that this is very tall, but that's because these guys are super big, uh, or big, they're, they're, they're tall too, they're like two meters tall, so they, they wanted a um, big seating arrangement, but as you can see, they're, they're, their feet are floating. I also like that you can actually see uh, where your, your standing uh, works places, so you can actually put the floor exactly in a one-to-one -one scale. This is working so well. I am so amazed by this app, seriously. Ah, oh, you deserve a Nobel Peace Prize for this. And if I wanted to to draw something here, and this is running really well, but this is a, a, a simpler model too though, but still, I can draw boxes, I can draw polygons, circles, what else can I do? Exclude, follow path. Copy, rotate, scale, freehand move, interact, lead your text, section planes. <laughs> I can select all my... Oh, I am absolutely in love with this app and I think I'm going to become a subscriber. I'm very impressed. Very impressed indeed. So, that's a VR sketch for you newcomers out there. Absolutely worth checking out. Go to vrsketch.eu uh, directly and you can try for free or get a license. And their pricing system is really based on the honor system. You can get it for free if you're a student. Uh, and that's not to encourage you to do that. If you're a professional, you should probably do the standard or enterprise. Uh, if you're a hobbyist, then it's just $9 a month. This should be the standard of a VR uh, component for, for SketchUp. It's really good. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, and I guess I will talk to you next time.